praise the lord hallelujah welcome again to our 15 friday 15 minutes podcast remember we started this series of teaching about three weeks ago today is going to be my last episode so i will not have time to run through what we have done in the past eight episodes because i'm going to be lining up and i have two more points to share with you on investment how to make a fortune so please if today is your first time please run through the series again hallelujah run through the series again run through the series again so that you can follow us on conclusion today hallelujah okay we took our text from matthew 25 14 to 30 whereby assured us that um, that uh, the parable there spoke about a businessman and the businessman there is the believer so it means that christ expect believers to be businessmen business is the only way you can double your income so please believers should not stick with a job for a lifetime believers should not stay as professionals for a lifetime no believers should always aspire to become businessmen and that's what i've been sharing with us in the past eight episodes so today i'm going to be running up and i have two more points to make and uh, uh the last time i spoke to you on wednesday i spoke to us saying that the rich will always get richer and poor will be poorer until you know how to invest money good example of that was 20, matthew 25 28 29. now the servant that has five more and submitted ten to his boss was was given one more in fact the boss reinvest, reinvested his ten and collected one from the servant that does not know how to treat money so his boss reinvested eleven unto him so i said to us that you are more likely to be favored when you approach your banker for money when you are a trader and you make money in quantity not in quality because they've seen your what's it called um bank details and you've seen your your trade over the years in fact they will approach you from they will approach you to to for to take loan from them instead of you approaching them i gave the example of my father and i gave the example of my nephew who was a property developer and the banks were giving him money he could only get money from investors who believe in him and probably have some money to play with bank doesn't have time to do that but you see other investors can do that okay so the rich will always get richer and the poor will always get poorer and listen to me most of those people you should do it there trading trading making money in quantity not equality there are more millionaires among them than people who work in the banks than lawyers than doctors so that's why the bankers is ready to give traders money than they are ready to give professionals now that is the secret behind it okay the rich will always get richer sorry people with good source of income have more voice than those who have no source of income and a just salary earner or professionals like the servant in that matthew 25 30. then the master said to his other servants now throw that good for nothing servant far away from me into the outer darkness where there will be great mystery and anguish hmm. the poor who have no source of income are never in control of life never having your own source of income and becoming rich puts you in control of life and take away fear of what others can do and deprivation from your life having your own source of income we put you in control salary earners and professionals are always at the mercy of others i'm sure you understand that people with good source of income have more voice than those who have no source of income now if you look at the three servants those who know how to treat money well those who went into trading those who went into trading I don't know what they traded in probably granite that people are buying in 100 naira 250 naira and and the you who earn money in quality 
in quality. Because that was what the man told the servant. Okay, if you cannot trade, go and join the bankers. Go and give money to the bankers who wear ties and have and, have, and who wear suit and wear ties. I think that's you would you should love that. You will even still make some money. You even still make some money. Now, do you know what? He had no voice. But the other two servants, they were so excited to talk to their boss what they have done with his money and they are ready to give him twice of what he invested into them. And do you know what? They have voice. He was able to talk with them. They talk at equal level together. Do you know what? You need to have a source of income. Listen to me. When you have a source of income, apart from salary, you have voice everywhere you go. You'll be bold enough to talk. Those two servants, they, 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 were, not, they were not afraid. They talked with their boss. They spoke. They talked. So people who have good source of income, they're always very bold people. They're always very bold. In fact, they can talk harshly to people. And people don't reach harshness from their talk because they know that they are in money. So you see, investment will give you that boldness. Investment will be, give you that boldness. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what you are trading in. These other two people, the Bible was silent on what they traded. But they were traders. They were traders. But what is important, are you still there? What is important is this, is that they have money. They have voice. They have money, they have voice. That's what the world is interested in. Not what you are trading. Not what you are trading in. Make sure you trade. You multiply your income. You have voice everywhere you go. Hallelujah. So, people who have good source of income, who are investors, they always have voice at the end of the day. Hallelujah. So we saw it in the life of that, those two servants. And the third servant was treated. In fact, he was bundled and thrown out. Okay. Now lastly, investment allows you to give back to the society. Which is the best sacrifice that pleases God according to Paul in Hebrews 13.16. In Hebrews 13.16, Paul said, But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. With a monthly salary, hmm, as a worker or professional, you are limited to give back to your society or to your church because you don't have enough for yourself. Investments make money available to you and to give to your church and society. God wants Christians to give back to their society and to his work. And that is possible through investment and not through jobs and salaries. Did you catch what I just said now? The Bible said that God wants us to be givers. Hebrews 13, 16. But to do good and communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Now listen to me. If you are earning salary, there is not enough for you to meet your need. Which society do you want to give back to? You will always go back to the society to take from the society. There is no salary earners. Outside there, who is doing charity work? No, there's no salary earner who is doing charity work. Because the salary cannot even do them. Now, most professionals are, are like that too. You see, they hardly have something to keep or to bank at the end of the whole thing. But you see, if you are an investor, and you invest money and your money is growing and your money is being doubled every time see you have voice in the society nobody will look down on you i know many multi-millionaires in my country see some of them cannot even sign their check they can't even sign their check they employ accountants who probably have who are chartered accountants. They are the ones that sign these people's check. But you see, they are investors. 
And most of them started trading almost with nothing. But today their money has doubled and doubled and doubled and doubled and doubled and they are in millions. They employ accountants. They can fire them. They can employ them. They have voice. Now those are the people that you see in rotaries. Those are the people that are given donation for immunizations. Now, investment gives you opportunity to do that. Listen and gentlemen, there are many salary earners who are very kind heart. But you see what? Kind heart does not pay bills. Kind heart can pay bills. I know many of them. They're very kind. They can cut their fingers for you. They can donate their kidney if you have kidney problem. Even if they need to donate their heart, they can donate their heart. But do you know what? Kindness doesn't pay bills. It takes money to pay bills. So if you want to go, if you want to give back to your society, if you, if you are kind and you want to be kind, be kind to invest money. When your money multiplies, then you'll be able to give to society. You'll be able to give back. Then you'll be able to satisfy the yearning of your heart. Poor people can't give to poor people. It's practically impossible. Poor people can't give to poor people. It's practically impossible. If poor people give to poor people, you become more impoverished. But you see what? Rich men can give to poor people. Rich men can give back to their, to their, to their society. And do you know what? That is practically possible through investment. That is practically possible through investment. So if you want to, if, 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 if you have the aspiration to give back to society, you want to help the poor, you want to see your society transformed, then open up investment. Open up investment. Are you listening to me now? Like Arab proverb said, he said, we live together as brothers, but we do business together as strangers. Do you get what I'm talking about? You don't need to fill your company with poor people. Get best hands, professionals. Pay them, let them make you rich. Now, when you make the money, then help the poor in the society. So, Hebrews 13, 16, but to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. So church people should go into investment. Now, many pastors are angry with their church members. We cannot pay salary, we cannot pay tight. They can't help in the conventions. The truth is this, they are salary earners. The truth is this, most of them are earning so little. Most of them are, are daily workers, professionals, who have to go and carry block, or mold block, or plaster a place. You see, they can't help. But listen to me, if we start investing money, and we start multiplying our money, then we can support God's work. So you see, being a professional and being salary earner will not help you to give back to society. But do you know what? If you are an investor, you stand a better chance, a better opportunity. So if not for anything, go into investment so that you can give back to your society. I believe God that you have really learned so much from investment, from this series on investment. This is how to make fortune and give back to your society. So I'm out of time again and I know you have really gotten something. So for me here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will see you in our Monday podcast where we'll be starting on a new series of teaching. God bless you.